Good morning everyone. Dear students, I hope you all are safe and sound along with your beloved families. Today, I will teach you English main course of class 3, chapter number 1, back to school. I am sure you all are missing your school and friends a lot these days. Before starting, I would like to tell you that going to school is so much fun. At school, you all make friends, you all play together, you learn various beautiful values such as sharing, caring, etc. Friends help you in learning various things quickly and easily. And when you learn together, you grow together, bound with a beautiful bond of love, care and concern. So, I am here to take you on a wonderful ride back to school. Let's get started. At school, we all learn various virtues and values such as punctuality, discipline, honesty, etc. School provides a platform to students to inculcate these values that build up their characters. Here, the picture shows the scene of a classroom. Look at the picture carefully and observe the activities of the children. Now, you need to identify what activities are right and what activities are wrong. You can even pause the video to look at the picture carefully. Here, we have the same picture again but with various tick marks and cross marks. You can observe the boy standing on the table, another boy playing with the electric bulb and yet another boy sitting on the table are crossed for showing improper behaviour. Whereas the students sitting properly and doing their work quietly are ticked right for showing for proper classroom manners. The girl in the corner is also ticked the girl in the corner is also ticked right for throwing the garbage in the dustbin, which is a good manner. Let us now start reading the text. It is about a girl, Sana. Sana is ready to go to her new class. Let us read and find out about the very first day in her new class. Sana is a cute plump girl. Sana is a chubby girl. Okay, she has curly hair. She enjoys going to school. She loves everything about her school. She loves her teachers. She does her homework neatly and on time, which shows that she is a punctual girl, isn't it? She talks to everybody very, very politely. That means she is a kind girl. Now, it is the first day of her new class. She has all her new stationery such as books, notebooks, crayons and pencils packed properly in her new bag. She is very excited to meet her new friends. She, she is very excited to meet her classmates. That means she is very happy to see her friends together in the same class again. As Sana reaches the school, she walks to the corridor, walks down the corridor and she wants to go to her new class quickly because she is very excited to meet her friends. Sohana, who is Sana's friend, sees her coming. She waves her hand and says, Here come here, here come here. And this is our new class. So Sana's friend Sohana, who was already in the new class, who already had who had already reached to the new class, when she sees Sana coming through the corridor, she waves her hand and she directs her to come to the new class telling that here you need to come to this room and this is our new classroom. Suddenly something strange happens. Let us see what is that. Suddenly they hear a loud noise coming from the classroom. They enter quickly the they enter the classroom very quickly to see what is happening. Out of curiosity they reach the classroom quickly. What they see is they see their Two classmates, Anil and Arif. What are Anil and Arif doing in the class? They are running in the classroom. And you know, running in, in classroom is a bad habit. You should not run in classrooms because it is dangerous. 
you may fall and you may get hurt by any desk or any table or even the classroom wall then she sees arif kicking the dustbin arif kicks the dustbin towards anil and shouts come catch me if you can that means they are playing in the classroom and do you all know playing in the classroom is really really wrong you should not play in the classroom because it is not safe for you all to play in the classroom for playing grounds are meant we need to go to the school ground to play various games we should not play games in the classroom because classroom is a place where we need to sit quietly and properly and gain more and more knowledge to make our future bright till now we understood that arif and anil are not behaving properly in the class now what is coming next there is a girl in the class her name is lisa what is she doing let us find out lisa is standing on top of a desk which is really really wrong isn't it children now she is standing on the desk and she is saying run run fast she is screaming in a wrong way she is encouraging anil and arif to continue the game in the class but we all know that encouraging someone to do something wrong is really really bad suddenly sana and sohana they enter the classroom when they enter the classroom they see all the mess in the classroom they see arif and anil running from here and there in the classroom arif and anil are playing with the dustbin lisa is standing on the top of a desk and she's shouting in the class sohana and sana do not like the chaos in the class the class is in a disorder manner they try to stop everyone they start shouting stop stop running everyone calls out sohana now sohana and sana they do not like the disturbance the disorder in the class so they try to stop everyone by saying stop stop running in the class and now when they have stopped when arif anil and lisa stopped in a way sana adds sana says friends this is our classroom and we should take care of it that means we are responsible for taking care of our classroom because a classroom belongs to us the particular classroom belongs to us and it is our responsibility to take care of the place that helps us in the process of learning suddenly what happens the class teacher miss meena enters the classroom and when she sees the classroom in a mess that means when she sees such an untidy class such a disordered class she gets really really upset ma'am becomes ma'am becomes sad miss meena gets sad when she sees the classroom in a mess she does she uh, she is not saying anything she never says anything to the class she is a very kind teacher so she picks up her chalk and she writes be clean be healthy be happy on the board what does miss meena do miss meena writes a slogan on the board the slogan says be clean be healthy be happy let us repeat what does the slogan say the slogan says be clean be happy be healthy right sana quickly raises her hands since she is a very punctual girl she is a very studious girl she stands and asks a question what does she ask he asks ma'am what does it mean she asks ma'am that ma'am the slogan that you have written that is be clean be healthy and be happy what do you mean by this slogan after sana asks this question miss meena explains she explains that the slogan be clean be healthy be happy suggests that cleanliness is the way to good health and happiness meena ma'am explains that when you all are clean 
it is a sign of good health and when you all are healthy you all are happy when we walk into an unclean classroom with the waste strewn all over the floor that means when you walk into a classroom which is dirty things are scattered here and there you don't feel very good in that surrounding what do you feel you feel bad about that surrounding you don't want to stand in a place you don't want to sit on the chair that is dirty similarly when you walk into an unclean class with st- with waste uh, with waste scattered all over the classroom you don't feel good about the surroundings we can even fall ill if there are unhygienic conditions by unhygienic conditions we mean dirty and filthy conditions that means when we move to when we go to a place which is dirty which is not clean and tidy we may fall ill if we stay in that place on the other hand when we walk into a bright and clean room we feel happy we try to we try to learn new things when we are happy so it is very hap- very uh, important that to be happy we need to be clean and tidy we need to experience we need to practice cleanliness in our lives to be healthy and to be happy sohana stands up and says you are right ma'am we are happier and healthier when our surroundings are clean Yes children when we live in a clean surrounding we are happy and when we are happy we become healthy naturally now arif anil and lisa apologize that means they feel sorry for messing up the classroom now arif anil and lisa have realized that mis- their mistake and they have promised to keep the classroom and the surroundings clean when children say sorry and they promise to keep the classroom and the surroundings neat and tidy miss meena forgives them all because miss meena is also a kind teacher and we all are we all are students when we make mistakes and teachers help us in correcting our mistakes miss meena forgives anil arif and lisa after they apologize and they promise to keep the classroom and surroundings clean and she further adds let us arrange the classroom in the order all the children start putting the furniture properly in its place very good when the class is arranged very good miss meena says very good now the classroom looks really really neat and then she adds today let us make some class rules the first classroom rule is we will together keep our class in order that means we will all we will all come together students and the teachers will all come together to keep the classroom proper and neat so this was the first chapter of your book back to school this chap i hope you have understood the chapter next we have two other slides for you to write the difficult words in your copies and some word now this will be your copy work children you need to make one english copy then you need to take off the first page of the copy you need to write chapter 1 back to school and today's date the first heading that you need to write is dictation words and here in dictation words you will write several difficult words for you to learn the spellings and learn how to pronounce these words very very correctly the various dictation words that you will be writing is politely stationary corridor quickly suddenly screams chaos cleanliness surroundings hygienic apologize and furniture you need to write these words very neatly in your copies and you need to learn the spelling of the same you also need to learn how to pronounce these words now we will learn and write some word meanings in our notebook the first one plump which means chubby and round second excited which means happy about something third is yells which means shouts 
Fourth is scream, which means shout. Fifth is chaos, which means disorder. Sixth is mess, that means untidiness. Seventh is strewn, which means scattered. Eighth is unhygienic, which means dirty and filthy. Ninth is arrange, which means organize. Dear students, I hope you have understood the chapter as well as the work that you need to write in your notebooks. I hope you will be able to finish the work assigned to you. In the upcoming videos, I will bring more exercises and question answers related to the same chapter. Till then, stay home, stay safe.